In this video, we'll take a look at adding an image and or a file to Cascade Server and then display that image in a web page. In order for an image or a file such as an Adobe PDF document to become part of a web page, it must already exist within Cascade Server. If the image or file is located somewhere else, you'll need to add it to Cascade Server first. In this example, we're going to add an image to Cascade Server and display that on a web page. So let's first take a look at how to add that image to Cascade Server. So within the IUSF website, go ahead and select the Pictures folder. And this is where we're going to add our image. In our navigation at the top, go ahead and select New, Default, File. Keep in mind is that if you're adding an image or a document such as a PDF, it's considered as a file as far as Cascade Server is concerned. It doesn't distinguish a difference between the two items. So go ahead and select File. And within the new dialog box, go ahead and select the Browse button. And we're going to browse for the little 500.jpg image on our local computer. I'm using a Mac and it's currently located in my desktop. So I'm going to select little500.jpg. Go ahead and select the Open button. And go ahead and select Submit. And this has now added the image to Cascade Server. Now that we've added the image, we can go ahead and display that on a web page. If we are working with an Adobe PDF document, we would add it to Cascade Server the same way. We would just locate the PDF document instead of the image. So what we're going to do next is add this image to web page. I'm going to go ahead and select my Patrick web page as an example. Go ahead and select the Edit tab. After selecting the Edit tab, place your cursor in the WYSIWYG editor where you would want the image to be displayed. Then select Insert Edit Image icon. And next we're going to browse for that little 500.jpg image that we added a moment ago. And we're going to go to Pictures because that's where we added it. And we're looking for little 500.jpg. Go ahead and select that. And go ahead and confirm if that's the picture that you want. If not, you can always select a different image. But let's stick to the one that we're using. Go ahead and select Confirm. And you're going to be required to put in alternate text for the image. Alternate text is a text that would appear if the image does not display correctly or if somebody uses a screen reading application because they cannot see. This is what would be read out loud to them. So I'm going to go ahead and type in picture of little 500 and go ahead and select insert and keep in mind is, is that you can make changes to the image after you've added it to Cascade Server if you want to. As always go ahead and select the submit button for the image to be saved And then here you can see the image is in your web page.